Right, TJ, I saw our man Nathan Brown yesterday on two different TV stations uh, doing what he does as his other job. And I noticed there was a shirt being worn on these two stations. That's OK. But it got me thinking that I had seen this shirt before. I then trawled, TJ. In a Rivers catalogue? Through the archives. <laughs> and I was correct. I had seen this shirt many, 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 many oh. times before. Australian Open <laughs> this year. Day one. First round. <laughs> second round. Now, we get to the second round on day three. <laughs> He's still at the same shirt. Look at these matchups. Day four. We're at the end of second round. We get to the, the round of 16 coming up. He's still persevering with this year. We have not doctored this. Look at the matchups. These are all going to air live. We get to quarterfinal day. We get to semi-final day. We get to the final. What's going on? With the Joker and also uh, Kyrgios Paul. in the, yeah, Paul in the, that was the semi-final. And then we get to the actual final itself. Now, we have packaged this up. Now, this has to stop, Brownie. This has to stop. I like the shirt. Well, I know you do. But unbeknownst to you, I have uh, made contact with your beautiful wife, Christina. Oh, yeah. And driven around to your house today Got my hands on this. We are going to, <laughs> we are going to retire this stinking shirt. Hang on, Damien. Is it? Is it? Hang on. Is that flannelette? Yeah. Have a look at it, TJ. Is that don't, don't breathe it. Oh, hang on. What? Oh, I can't oh, get I've it. Got I'm up. Props being in what yeah, corner? Really strong. <laughs> Very good. Oh, no, very good stuff. TJ, you're right, an odd little man, aren't you? Yeah. Now, uh, look, the last thing I want to do is uh, advocate thieving at the football or anything like that. Um, but I did see this last week and it caught my eye. And I thought to myself, you know what, in this, in this age of political correctness and wokeness and everything, <laughs> good on you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> go for it. Like, there you go. There was the, he had a little bit of a wrong yeah. way, uh, Charlie, <laughs> there. But he's actually got the ball and off he's gone. I think uh, someone did it uh, not long later. But, of course, it's not the first time that we've seen someone sort of, like, steal footballs. Uh, this is one that uh, caught our eye. Some time ago, uh, it was of course uh, Matthew Lloyd behind the goals, just out marking the ten-year-olds and uh, passing it off to Jacob to go and throw it in the uh, the murk. Uh, Damo, you oh. are the AFL's main man. As we saw last year, when you went into the AFL, this is what you had when you went into the AFL. So this was you last year. This is Damo. Just every person you get in there, and it's Damo this, Damo that. Now, this year, I've been taking... I love the AFL website. It's I do, fantastic. Yeah. I go to the app, and this is what I saw last week. I could not believe this headline that you're actually third-personing yourself. If Damo was badly wrong about the Tigers, by Damien Barrett. Oh. You're actually <laughs> third-personing yourself, Damo. <laughs> and then I, I, you need a content warning when right. your head's as close to the camera as what it was here. This is you on the... Oh, app. Why are you so close, Damo? Oh, I asked for the camera person to be so close. Oh, I'm ready. It's it's got, that's got nothing. Oh, oh, God. That is... Ugly. Sorry about that. Just for the AFL, this is what we need. Next time Damo comes up that close, we need a content warning that some viewers might find it disturbing. Now, yeah, they say enough. you should never work with children and animals, mm. and I'm saying maybe you shouldn't work with Bulk back in his early days, the volcano. Oh, yeah. Because uh, this is grim viewing, and uh, here's Bulk being interviewed by a young Adelaide journo who I felt sorry for. Here's the first one on, on, on movies. Do you like movies? Yeah, I've seen a fair few movies. Isn't it? What was the last one you saw? Oh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. How good was it? Spider-Man. Didn't you like it? Oh, man, I wish I could shoot things out of my wrist. <laughs> no, I didn't like that green goblin guy. Yeah, he was a Yeah, and that, like, the glider thing was a bit surreal. Because if they had to be invented that now, like, everyone would have one. It's like scooters and rockets. <laughs> That wasn't bad. Uh, then she moved on to career and what he might want to do after football. Here oh, it is. No. Finally. Have you ever thought about what you might have done? I mean, it doesn't look like there's any other option, but what you might have done if you hadn't have played AFL? Yeah, I actually uh, wanted to be a policeman. Um, and then I was thinking about being like a detective or something like that. I <laughs> thought that would be pretty cool. So. <laughs> and did you, have you done any study or anything like that, like uni or anything like that? No, I'm thinking about doing a real estate course at TAFE next year, so a couple of the other boys want to do that. Now, now, we only wish he picked real estate because this was the first and last fire he attended. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely horrific. Now, last week, Lordo had his cricket grand final, and we we're ahead of our time once again. We put this on the agenda. Unfortunately, it was a disappointing day for Lordo. Let's roll the dismissal <laughs> off him. But I'm not so much critical of Lordo because he just got a good one. I mean, we all get the, the odd good ball. I'm more interested in that clown. Who is that wicket keeper there with the big send off? Now, you're opening the bowling today. Can that wicket keeper 
deserve some revenge. Yeah, yeah I'm, with you. I'm with you on that you one. You know who he is? Yeah, I know who yeah. that one truly really is. I liked it. Yeah. He's given it the kick, and yeah. he, look, watch the goals. Goals. No, I like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chin music, I reckon. We'll give you an update. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. we have the exclusive update now. This is what happened when Lordo returned, sir. <laughs> 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 is, is that the wicked keeper? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Best thing that I've ever seen. <laughs> Absolutely outstanding, Lordo. Who is he? Uh, his name's uh, Glenn Beckett. Uh, he's a good guy, and he actually walked up to me after the game. He was very sheepish, and he said, "The amount of texts I got from people when Kane showed that vision, I knew I need to bat well. <laughs> I didn't. And How I many did he, make? he made four. <laughs> and I rolled for ninety. So good, good catch, Lordo. Good Thanks, reflexes. Uh, appreciate yeah. it. That's no, all I did for the day." Pays not to mock the opposition because yeah, exactly. it might come back to bite you exactly. one day.